Hello, so different kind of video for my channel. I'm basically going to review my PlayStation Network account. Um, I'm on the road to a hundred platinum, so and I decided to hook up the face cam today, which is and for me very rare. So there's my profile name if anybody wants to add me. Feel free and let's go ahead and start so this is where I sit right now I have a total of uh, 2034 with 49 platinums seven uh, 374 golds 408 silvers and 1203 bronze so let's just go look at the list here all right so Bioshock Remastered, I just finished that one, I think, yesterday, and I find it fairly easy. I um, might go ahead and do the PlayStation 3 version, just because it's, to me, it's a pretty easy game. I can do it, no problem. Um, these games like this are Japanese, obviously, and there's no platinum, but they're easy 100%. And it's basically just mm, snapping pictures of, stuff, of, you know, things and stuff. So, I've been working on Diablo. About the only, th only one that I really have left that, that's a grind is going to be the 500 bounties and the um, one called dream team where I have to get six different classes up to level 70 so that's just a matter of a grind and then a couple more necromancer ones and then I'll have a hundred percent on it plants vs zombies on Vita um, I work on that game while I'm out and about and sitting somewhere so it's taken me a while to work on that one. I just got do the new Doki Doki, so I haven't really had time to mess with it. Color Slayer, um, football game, Alien Destroyer, Autumn Journey, I mean, Chicken on the Road, Road Buzzle, Iron Snout, uh, Syrup in the Ultimate Suite, A Winter's Day Dream, uh, another Iron Snout. Those are all like grimy platinums. They're super easy to get. Winter's Day Dream, you pretty much sit there and, you know, hit X until you get the platinum. You know, you just hit the confirmation button, boom, boom, boom. Um, now, my wife does the word games like this on my Vita when I'm not playing it, so... So she loves to do that to her. It's super relaxing and it gets me trophies. So hey, the win-win. Another winner's daydream because they do stack. I will now. I will stack games if they are usually except for Iron Snout. If they were on different systems, I usually don't go and go download like the European version and then the Asian version and then the Japanese version and then try to get. You know, six stacks of the same platinum or however it is. Undertale is free right now, so, you know. And from what I can read about it, it's an easy platinum. Um, obviously, Mr. Masaji, that's just funny. I, I recommend it. Spectre Woods was a, you know, 49 cent game, I think it was. on P It is still is on PSN at the time of this video take you about five minutes to platinum jack and jill is a pretty e another easy one um gravity duck dying reborn square boy um super destronauts land war land wars i done two of the bowling ones there's a bunch more of them now another super destronauts e dx ink explosion metagal i mean obviously my name is Mayo. If you, you 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 can't consider, I think yourself a platinum hunter or a trophy hunter in general unless you have my name is Mayo. And even though it's just clicking, some some of the story plots are just hilarious. And the same thing with two um, bouncy bullets is super easy. A taco master 
requires a little bit of it's not hard it just requires a little bit of speed and I'm enjoying playing it so I'm not trying to like hurry up and flatten them it um, the slay away camp really isn't that hard it, it was pretty fun I, I, I enjoyed it it's like a puzzle game mostly uh, another word game that Usagi plays uh, Risk of Rain 2 I'm working on that one Little Adventures on the Prairie, um, if you're any kind of trophy hunter, you know about that game. It is actually a terrible game, but an easy platinum. So, Seven Days to Die, um, I doubt I'll ever get that platinum, but I could probably grind it on my own with two controllers and it not be too bad. It would just take a while. We got the complex. It's more of a visual, like a movie that you make choices in, you know, FMV game, so it was pretty easy. And it wasn't too bad of a story either. PC Building Simulator, I enjoyed that. It's just a lot of grinding. And Farming Simulator 19, to me, it was fairly easy. Horizon Zero Dawn, um,. I'll probably never 100% that because of New Game Plus. So once I got most of the, I did all the Frozen Wild uh, quest, and I missed a couple of the feats, but then I was just like, yeah, I, I'm not going to 100% it, so I'm, I'm done. I'm not going to do New Game Plus. Minecraft is another one that's not too bad, but... It has a ton of DLC, so I doubt I'll ever get the 100%, but I'll definitely get the Platinum. <sighs> Legend of Arcadia was another just keep hitting X and then you get a Platinum. A Blair Witch, I actually enjoyed that game. And it, it wasn't too bad. A lot of collectibles and stuff, but you know. Um, Bejeweled is one that Usagi plays. Tower defense games. I like tower defense games because you can, it's just, you can get all your defenses set up and then just sit there and watch. <laughs> um, Resident Evil 3, 100%, the new remake. Now, I don't get why people dislike it so much. Yes, it wasn't as good as Resident Evil 2 remake. But it was still a pretty good game, in my opinion. Blind Man, I didn't read the story at all. I literally just picked all the right options on with a guide and got the Platinum. Book of Memories, I'll never get that Platinum. Doom Eternal, very fun game. Um, but I'm not, I, I doubt I'm going to do the DLC. Tropico. Um, now the reason I played Tropico was is because I wanted the Platinum on Doom Eternal to be my 1,000th trophy, so I played Tropico long enough to pad out my score, that way it, when it, when I got the Platinum for Doom Eternal, it would have been my 1,000th trophy. And I'm still, and I'm still working on the Final Fantasy VII Remake, it's just a lot of grinding towards the end, and, um, veteran... That veteran trophy or whatever it is is pretty hard. Of course, Doom 2016, Fallout Shelter is doable. A lot of grinding. You know, Fallout 4, um, Resident Evil 7. As you're gonna see, I kind of like Resident Evil games, so I got two. Resident Evil 2 also. I just didn't complete the DLC. Subnautica, very fun game. Skitty, city so, uh, city skylines um not hard just you really got to pay attention to what you're doing and know what your goal know what your goal is to get the trophies and how to how to go about that and then the one trophy where you have to wait a thousand and one nights in game takes a quite a long time like several weeks of just letting the game sit there so yeah everybody go to the rapture it's a walking simulator but a pretty good one plague inc i'll never get the platinum resident evil village this kind of 
makes me a little bit mad because I've got all the trophies but this one. Achieve S ranks on all the mercenaries. There are two levels that I cannot get S rank on, and I, I just can't do it. I, I guess I just need to practice more and just keep running it and running it and running it and running it until, and I'll eventually get it. It's just very annoying that to miss that one trophy for the hundred percent. Um, Silent Hills. I can platinum those, but they're terrible ports. Alien Isolation is tough. Bioshock Remastered. So I, 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 I love the Bioshock games. You know, I have to get the platinum on all of them. Prey. I barely played that. It seems pretty good. It's just too many. Th I had too many games at the time. Um, OG Final Fantasy VII. A very fun game. Uh, not hard to platinum at all. Death Stranding, take a lot of grinding, um, don't really remember much about Tokiden other than it being similar to Monster Hunter, I think, um, and then a bunch of games, a couple of games that I don't play a couple of times and then just was like, yeah, I'm, I'm and moved on, Fallout 3, now this is my second account, I used to have the Fallout 3 Platinum. But what happened was, is my old account was on my play on my PlayStation Three. Um, the PlayStation Three died, and I didn't remember any of the account information, so I had to start this account over in the beginning of 2020. So I'm going to get it again, though. Definitely, I'm definitely getting that trophy again. Deception, I don't. That's probably going to be pretty. I don't know if it's hard or not. I haven't really researched it enough, but it's fun. Um, this is like a Final Fantasy Tactics games. Of course, Minecraft for Vita. Doubt I'll get Darkest Dungeons and XCOM done. Let me skip some of these. You know, it'll take forever. Criminal Girls, I think I can get that platinum. It doesn't seem too hard. It's just a lot of grinding. Here's my second, my name is Mayo 1 trophy, or Platinum. Genshin Impact. I played that for the first week that it came out. Um, I got absolutely nothing good in any pools, so I cannot play more than one gacha and spend money, and I just stopped. Monster Hunter World. Eh, I love that game. It's pretty fun. No Man's Sky was actually, a, for me, a really easy Platinum. Um, Dragon Ball Fighter Z. I'm decent at fighter games, but when it comes to trophies that are like, defeat a whole bunch of opponents online, I usually do pretty bad against real players, so yeah. Um, Defense Grid 2, uh, that might have been my first Platinum on this, this account. And Final Fantasy, um, Observation, Dead by Daylight, I know I'll never finish that. Neptunia games take a long time, RPGs. Soma was pretty fun game, horror themed. I, I love horror themed games, so pretty much I had to 100%. Grand Turismo Sport is never going to happen. Um, Call of Duty. I'm not really much into Call of Duty games, to be honest. And there's my Subnautica 1 Platinum. So I've got Platinum for 1 and 2. Fallout 76. I heard that it's gotten a lot better now. So I might uh, go back and actually get the Platinum for that. Galgon, of course. Um, Until Dawn. Um, that's a good one, too. I need to platinum that since I love horror games, and it's not, not terribly hard. Fruit Ninja, I don't think you can platinum that anymore because of online servers being 
down or something like that. You, you There's one trophy that requires another person and you can't do it anymore. And then I don't even remember what this game is, so. Yeah, this is... Alright, so to um, recap, this is my goal to 100. I try not to play a ton of, you know, easy, 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 easy Platinums like Chicken on the Road and Rub Road Bustle, but I, I will play them as fillers. Um, I think I'm going to plan on doing, on my old account, I had the Platinum for Dead Space 1, and I definitely can do that again. Um, I can't get the Platinum for Burnout Paradise on PS3 now because I think the online servers are down, which I used to have that one too. Um, I'd say the one that's probably the rarest that I have is the City Skylines Platinum. Yeah by far but it has an insane amount of DLC that I refuse to do I'm not well I'm not buying all that DLC so my plans are as far as bigger games you know like not easy platinums they're gonna be like Dead Space um, I'm gonna finish the Final Fantasy 7 remake, I'm going to finish Diablo 3, Reaper of Souls, before Diablo 2, the remake, comes out, because I definitely have to do that one too. That was one of my um, kind of childhood games, the, the original Diablo 2, so I definitely have to play that and get the Platinum. And let me see on my shelf here. Hmm. Yeah, I just I just have such a, a massive backlog of games that I want to finish in Platinum, so... Let me see here. I have, like, a ton of these kind of games, but they're... Basically, like you're a photographer. I think I'm just rambling now. But, uh. Yeah, so. To all the people that watch my channel from VC, if you even made it this far in the video, this is pretty much what I've been doing lately. Um. Honestly, VC is starting to I guess get to me with the fact that the amount of money that I spent in that game to still still at this day be behind the meta and it's just very annoying when people who have been playing the game less than a year get these super duper good pulls and they're and they're super high in arena and I can't touch them and they're using crap gear that's four star and they still annihilate me because of their team so I've not been really playing it all that much and honestly if I don't get um, at least one OP meta character by the end of this year then I'm probably going to quit playing VC altogether. I have spent way too much money on altars at this point not to have Alfana and that is very annoying. So, alright, that's enough of my rant about that. Um, I guess thank you for watching and try to have a good day. Bye-bye.